Hello, everyone. Hello. Hope you are enjoying your lager. <laughs> In Spain, beer is our drink of choice, and Estrella Galicia, it washes down really well. It's quite light bodied. Uh, that acidity cuts through fat generally really well. And, um, and the bitterness, which is, uh, believe it or not, a very neutral flavor. It's very good for that very reason. Uh, we've put together a, a little tapas menu. So we have got three beers for you to taste that have been paired with um, very special Galician-inspired dishes. Um, the first beer is Estrella Galicia. That's the one that you've all got in your hands, hopefully. It's a 4.7% Pilsner Lager. It's very refreshing, it's quite floral notes on the nose. It's quite a bitter finish, um, but there's a bit of sweetness in there. And um, we're going to have a bit of pan con alioli, chorizo. Again, quite a fat food. And the drawn peppers, these little sweet peppers that come from Galicia. So this beer should cut through very well. The second beer is 1906 Reserva Especial. It's a 6.5% lager. It's a bock lager. It's got quite a sweetness on it. It's a little bit darker. Flavors of the second round of dishes, which is an empanada gallega, it's a puff pastry with tuna and peppers, it's quite subtle. Octopus a la gallega, again quite subtle. And then there's a spicy patatas bravas. This beer works really well with a spicy food. Then the third beer is black coupage. Um, it's very dark, it's a black lager, it's very chocolatey, and it's got some coffee notes, and it goes very well with dessert. You know, it's very on trend to add salt caramel and salt to chocolate and the reason is because it makes you believe it's actually sweeter than what, what it really is. So hopefully this beer will make the dish which doesn't have as much sugar but will make you feel it as it is quite sweet. Anyway, enjoy the evening, drink loads of Australia, I'll join you. Enjoy!